Christy here. Um, today I'm making green tags, borders, and embellishments. I've got my table here covered with um, nothing glued together here. Um, my subjects matched up with borders and tags to get a start. Um, I like to make a lot of them. <laughs> I kind of mass make them. Um, so I'm not going to glue all of these together on camera because it'll be like an hour and a half or more. Um, but I'm going to glue several of them together. And um, I've got a few here on my table ready to go. Um, I've got embellishments and stuff to glue on. Um, I've got my window open here. I live on a busy street so we might hear some noise. But let's get going. Now. We'll make some green tags, borders, and embellishments. Okay, I've already got some glued together. I made this this border. Um, I printed some stuff from Pinterest, including this bunny. Um, this is uh, out of a garden catalog. Um, I made several of those in the past. This is a f stamp with a frog on it. It's a real stamp. Um, and then... A, Project Life card, and I can journal on that, or write, you know, just the date, or, or happy, or you know, whatever the scrapbook page is about. I can just write something on there. It says, "Oh, happy day." Um, so there's that, and then this embellishment. Um, that's well, I can't think of who it is, but. <clears throat> just a sweet little girl this is like a, a little recipe card I didn't know what I was going to do with that but it's so small it's beautiful embellishment so there you go and then this this is graphic 45 just a little mess little thing to write on um, and a cook ticket and various things um, this is not really a tag it's a different shape um, but I've got it and I used it. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I've got this this sweet little bird on a on a um, rusty faucet. And I added this number and it's just really nice. And then I've got this dog. And there's another dog there. Dog in the back of a pickup truck. Um, it's just added some this and that. That jazzed it up. This one. Um, I've made a few other, well not very many, I made this one in the past and I just hang that on the wall in my craft room. My craft room is pink. This t does have a little touch of pink, but I will definitely hang this on the wall too. Decorate my craft room with it. Um, so that's what I've got done so far. So let's proceed. Clear these out of the way. Um, I haven't got these fully planned out. Here's a rusty old pickup truck by a barn. Or, and then I've, this is perfect paper. It's like rust. So it's just perfect. Then I've got this. I had I had some sheets of this glitter paper. It doesn't flake or anything. And it curls. But once it's in a scrapbook, on a scrapbook page and pressed in a book for a long time, it's not going to be a problem. But it always curls when I glue it on there. So we've got that. And I always, often, <laughs> add my little little squares of color here. I have a lot of these, so I try to add one of those to almost every every one. Get those used up. Um, oh, this is nice. Okay, so I got my three little squares. I got my little page of tiny things. Um, those will go. I'm um, trying to use up all of these. Um, let's see now. Um, I got a lot of coupons. I'm just going to grab one and it's going to go on here. We're going to use some coupons or tickets, whatever you want to call them. Um, uh, I don't have a whole lot of stamps, but this I did like that stamp on that other one. But I've got so much stuff. Let's see. Okay, how about a star? Mm. I don't really want to add a butterfly or flowers or hearts. Um. Let's 
see it now. Circles are good. I'm going to add that on there. I do like it using circles. Okay, that's a start. <laughs> so now I'm going to start gluing. My last few videos I haven't done a lot of talking and just working on my project. So, well, what's new? Um, things are busy at work. I work at a ware warehouse where we make we make store shelves. Um, they're, they're, it's the biggest store shelf country in the nation, and you you see our shelves. We call them fixtures. Um, Walmart, um, all kinds of major stores. They're they're everywhere. Um, but I work in the warehouse, and I don't drive a forklift. I'm I'm the janitor. Um, and things have been busy lately. <laughs> uh, and I don't have to do it, but um, they they're posting mandatory. 10 hour days during the week, Monday through Friday. They've been working 10 hour days uh, driving the forklift and loading the trucks or whatever they do. Um, it's, so we're swamped. And um, uh, we're trying to hire people. And also, we're, they've been doing a lot of mandatory Saturdays. They do six hours on Saturday. And then um, on I've worked the last three Sundays. Um, I, when I work on a Saturday and Sunday, all I have to do is um, clean up the bathrooms and ba break rooms and make sure supplies are stocked, napkins, wipe the tables. Um, and I take short because I don't do everything that I do during the week. And uh, But boy, we have been busy. Uh, I think I need a button. Oh, those are not buttons. Those are sequins. But I see a big one. Do I want shiny? Why not? Sure, why not? Okay, I don't really have any big buttons though, so that's fine. Uh, I need a little glue dot. So anyway, I've worked the last three Sundays, two and a half hours. But these, these other guys, they've been doing... Uh, they have their choice of how many hours they want to work up to eight hours on Sunday so they're getting a lot of hours and people the newer employees they, they just can't take it <laughs> and they keep leaving so we're swamped we are very swamped so works I haven't had a day off in three weeks almost four four three weeks I haven't had a day off in three weeks but that's all right uh, here's a triangle. No reason. What's it for? Nothing. <laughs> this is my style. I like to have things, um, just use up all this clutter. Use up all these little bits and pieces. That's, that's why I started doing these. And I've got all these, these stars. And I have a few other colors, too. So I'm trying to use up some of those. And stars are, are good for... For this and sometimes I can I add a word yeah we use these up we'll put I'll put several on here okay I'm um, just it's not doing it for me so I've got my book of words let's find a green word um, I cause I keep them sorted by color um, sweet is handsome boys know best laugh best friends best buds Summer breeze, huh? Perfect day. Hanging out, hanging out sounds good. See how fast I found a word, and I try not to think too hard on it. All right, now we'll punch a hole. There's a tag gun. Okay, I'll do this tag. Haven't gathered up much here. Oh, where's my quarter rounder? Corner, corner rounder. I dropped it and it's kind of broken. <laughs> and I really like this one. Sometimes it gives me a little bit of trouble. See, it, it came loose right there. 
I need to take it out to the garage and give it a whack and snap it back into place. Maybe that maybe that just did it. I don't know. So this this is printed off of Pinterest. Okay, and then this is a sticker, and this background it will come off of it when I peel it off. Enjoy. Okay, gotta use my little. I just I just really like how these just make things more interesting. I got all, oh, I save the strangest things. I'm telling you. Uh, um. Okay. There's three green ones. Now this this could use some a food a butterfly. And I don't have a lot of green butterflies, but I do have some. Here's some butterflies. So. These will hang off the side. This will go. This could go here. Oh, the little. F ooh, oh, what to use? What to use? <laughs> it's so hard to decide. Um, will this go on there? Yes. Yes. Okay, and now how about a flower? I don't have a lot of green flowers either. Green's not a popular color for flowers. So I don't have a lot. Uh, I could add a pink rose. Yes. Uh, well, there's flowers right there. What else do I have? What else? The circle. I do like my circles. Okay. I need to punch some more of these circles out. Yes. Now it's starting to take shape. Okay. It needs something here. A heart. Yes. Give me some hearts. Where are my hearts? I don't have very any small ones really. Um. Well, nope. Okay, I do have the, a tiny one. Gonna kind of get lost on that. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna. I've got these tiny little things, like a bunch of them. I'm gonna put this under here. No, no, that that. Okay, okay. Here's what I need to make it stand out. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to glue it together. So usually I have a lot more accumulated to glue onto these things, but this time we're kind of working it as we go, so you can kind of more see my pros process. Getting to the uh, another end of the end of another glue stick, and that's okay. I got plenty. I've been going through a lot of glue sticks with making my blue, my previous video was using up blue stuff and now um, I'm making the green ones, just getting started on those, it, but then I, before that I went through all of my colors and, and made all of these pages, I sorted, had everything mixed together, all the hearts together, and, but I, now I separated everything by color and this is going really good for me making these tags and borders to have things sorted by color you know everybody you, you, as you as you go go along you things change you know in, in your your way you like to do things changes and that's that's just perfectly fine so here's a sticker kind of blends in a little bit but that's okay and then I need my razor blade there we go stickers like this. See, I cut out all my stickers. I don't I don't like sheets of stickers. I like to cut them off and leave the back on. Just cut them out. And leave the back on so they're still good. And then I organize like this. At least none of these are really stickers. That one might be. But you know I, I mix them all together. All of my butters flies together. All my hearts together. You know that's just that works for me. 
Okay, so let's get this on here. That antenna got kind of messed up. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I've had these things for years. Um, you know, people who journal use a lot of these things, and I, I do not journal. I love making glue books, and that's kind of like journal. Well, I watch a lot of videos of people who who make kind of cross between journals and glue books, but I don't want a glue book journal. I have no intention of journaling. I have my scrapbooks to record my life, and I don't want to journal, but to each his own. Okay, you know, <laughs> I'm going to put a star on here. I want to use up these stars. Yeah, I need something here anyway. There's a star. Today is the star day, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Lots of stuff. That's my style. So we'll... Okay. So this is a Project Life card. Uh, this is... Um, when I get scrapbook paper, pads, a lot of times on the cover there will be pictures of several of the designs. And I cut those out and I round the corners. I don't want to go to waste. That, that's forks, spoons, and knives. A pinch, of pa 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 bleh! a pinch of patience and a dash of kindness, a spoonful of laughter, a heap of love. So, I like that. Um, I think I'll put that like that. I need some of these. Use that one. Uh, that one, because why? Oh, it's like a checkered tablecloth. Use your imagination, man. <laughs> okay, and then, then this one. Okay. Now, can I get a green heart on there? I don't have any small ones, but I can. You know, it's, I need to use these foam ones. There we go. We're going to put that on there. Um, we need more stuff. Um, there's flowers. We'll go with this one. I need more flowers, if you believe <laughs> Um, no, I don't like that. The circle, the two circles about the same size. Um, I'm going to look for some brown flowers because it's kind of a, okay, brown, I want my brown. Here's brown. Um, the brown flowers are not in there. Brown. flowers are but we'll go with black because I, I have like three brown flowers brown is not oh. okay blue multicolor well let's see what I got in multicolor oh you know what I like this we'll make that work somehow Oh, that just really jazzes it up. Okay. I like to put things away as I go because otherwise I'd just be buried in stuff. Oh, come on. Get in there. Okay. So... Okay, I got to get a new glue stick. This one's dead. Okay. A lot of you have been asking about how I've been feeling because I was off work from January to, um, well, from like Christmas till mid-December. Mid mid <laughs> mid February. I was off two months uh, because I 
had a spine problem. I didn't even know what was going on. Um, my thighs and legs and hips were bothering me and I could hardly walk. And I ended up, my employer told me to go on temporary disability through them. So I got like half paychecks every week. And um, went to physical therapy. And I have maybe four weeks of physical therapy. And the first few weeks it was like, I don't know if this is even helping at all. But then that last week, I just kind of snapped out of it. <laughs> I was doing pretty good. Um, it was slow recovery. I had an MRI and a X-ray. It was hard, and I did not have back pain. Uh, and when my doctor wanted back X-rays, but no, it's my hip, it's my thigh, it's my knees. Oh no, we're gonna do it. Oh, look at that! I almost totally covered up the color of the tag, but that's that's okay. That's my style. I don't usually cover that much up. These, oh, they'd be fine, baby. It's still got some sticky on it. These have been around since my daughter was a little girl. She's caught twenty now. There we go. I don't really want that on there because it's still pretty sticky. All right, a couple of glue dots. We'll get it stuck on there. I can't use it. I'm, I'm kind of smooshing up a mid-sized one because if I use it full circle, the full dot, then it it'll be showing. So. Okay, stick that on right there. We need more stuff. How about a butterfly? Get a large glue dot. And I want a button. Where are there's my buttons? I don't have much of a selection here, but we'll make it. Okay. So it's like 80 degrees today. The first warm day we've had in a while. That's why I have the windows open. It's getting, I'm getting a little warm. There's a rain soon. Okay. Is that enough? Oh, I think I'll try to add some little doodad off of here. I don't want... There's a heart. I think I'll put that down here in one of these, this bare corner so it can be seen. And then, hey, just add a star. Well, it's not going to hurt nothing. I've got this strip almost used up. <laughs> I've had them for quite a while. Um... There. Doesn't look terrible. Another one done. Alright. I think I'll do a border now. I love my Victorian ladies. Okay, now I had several of these frames. And I just want to get rid of them. I've had them so long I just never use them so I'm gonna put this here just for no reason okay gotta round my corners this printed off of Pinterest raise it up a little higher because I like this this is very Victorian looking I need I need some little scraps something kind of vintage looking I guess start with one of those because I got so many of them so yeah I've been back to work for 
um, over two months and I'm not really having any problems um, I have those I did see a spine specialist after I went back to work because I'm afraid of this coming back and you know what am I supposed to do and he, he says um, didn't really have any advice for me but he told after looking at my MRI he told me I have arthritis in my in my um, hips but I think that's just going to flare up every once in a while. And I do feel a minor pain here and there. But I'm really doing good. <laughs> Telemarketer. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I have a little mild pain in my hip once in a while. Um, but not very often. It doesn't last very long. Um, but... I did f recently find out that when you have arthritis, you sometimes get um, um, fatigue. But I've been doing pretty good with that. There for a while, when I was not making videos for <laughs> a few weeks, I would come home from work. And um, sometimes I'd take a nap, but if I wasn't taking a nap, I was spending a lot of time in my evenings just laying in bed, looking on that YouTube on my phone, or or coloring pictures on my color app. Or, uh, but I just I don't know. I was just relaxing and resting a lot because I guess I was feeling kind of tired. This is a sticker. I got three big things on here. That's that's a bit much, but whatever. Okay. And I always seem to make these. Don't seem to. I do. When I make my scrapbook page, let me grab a piece of paper. That's the same color as my pay table. You're not gonna be able to see it. Here's a bright yellow. Just grab the stack of it. <laughs> because I'm going to put it right back. Anyway, so when I make my pages, I always put it on this side. That's, um, and then I, two or three pictures like this, or, or a picture like this and an upright picture. Um, eight and a half by eleven and four by four, four by six photos, you really are kind of limited on the layouts that you can make. And that's partly why I started making these tags and borders because, um, because I just make them to f fit my pa em empty space on my pages, and and it's just working out really good for me. Here's a flower. It's kind of big. I'm gonna put it right there with a large glue dot and these these flowers they're kind of made out of processed paper and when you use them I got them from Hobby Lobby um, when you use them with a glue dot sometimes the glue dot will pull the a layer of paper off the back and then your glue dot is ruined and you're, it's not going to stick so I put try to put the glue dot on the paper. Okay, so I always got to put. Speaking of things I want to use up, there's a, a little green circle. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I want any stars on this page. On this tag border. Okay. Um, do like tickets. Tickets are vintage and stamps. What kind of vintage stamp? Oh yes, this is a pretty stamp. So back to my health. I think I'm pretty much back to 100 percent. You know, this this condition I have, as they say, it's um. It's degenerative, so it's probably never going to completely go away, but 
I am really doing pretty good. This, that's too big. No. Pink? She got a little pink. She got pink. Let's suspect it. Oh. This has pink on it, but it's kind of modern. I don't care. I like it. I like it. I'm going to stick it on there. Oh, my dot popped off, didn't it? Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. So I need, I like to, wait, these little, little three things I put on there, I like to decorate them. Um, what have I got? Um, got a flower there. A ticket? A ticket. I got, I've got a ton of tickets. Let's do the ticket. It needs more. <laughs> it needs more. There's a little white flower with a rhinestone on it. Oh, these two, they peel off the back of the layer, layer of this. So where do I want this? See, there it did. It did. It did. Oh. Okay, right there. Two mismatched flowers next to each other. That's my style. All right, all right. Um, I've got a little heart here. I don't really have a plan, but <laughs> okay. Should we call it done? Yeah, sure. And here's a border. Um, this is a smaller tag that I had made previously, and I don't really care for um, smaller tags. I like to make them because I like to use up what I have. But, oh, this one? Well, I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, the ones that are the width of my tag size that I do like, I've been just started adding on more to the bottom. See, I like them this length, not that length. Anyway, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. So, I've got this little girl. Um, she's got a, a little vintage beach bucket and... I think I'll put that in with my summer beach stuff because I never use it. And I don't really want to make this beachy because then I wouldn't use it. So I'll save that little bucket and use it with my summer beach stuff. Alright, so we need... Green. Green. Oh, perfect. Perfect. tell you what I've got so many girly tags and pink tags and my daughter's all grown up and um, my daughter has saved all of her Barbie stuff we boxed it all up it's in the storage room in the basement her Barbie stuff her uh, Polly Pocket Lola's Pet Shop Cabbage Patch Kids um, she's got a lot of little uh, cute little stuff and I hope I have a granddaughter someday. Because <laughs> somebody's got to use this stuff. She's going to have a good life. And I've saved all of her books, too. Over, we, I've got book, bookshelves just filled with, with children's books. We've, we've collected a lot of chapter books and kids' books. So lots of um, um, Dr. Seuss. Um, the Berenstain Bears. We never did read much of the Berenstain Bears. I don't know why. We just never did. But I've got them. Um, Biscuit. Biscuit is a cute little dog. That's, that's for like preschool age. But she loved Biscuit. 
Oh, I've got to put this on underneath her. Don't stick to my table, little girl. Okay. Okay. So when my daughter has a child, a few years down the road, not yet. She's still in college. <laughs> I hope it's a girl, but a boy would be, I wouldn't complain with one bit about either one, but I hope it's a girl, because <laughs> then, then we can use all of this stuff. I'm telling you right now, pretty soon I'm going to have to go buy some more glue dots. I, I'm not real low yet, but I'm going to be at this rate if I keep making these tags and using glue dots. I'm so messy with these. Oh, I'm so uncoordinated. <laughs> but I make them work. Okay. Put this here. Buttons. I want buttons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want this. I want this. I need a big glue dot for that. A big glue dot. And let's add a star. Last one on this. No, there's two more on this strip, and I'm going to finish this strip off. Ta da! All right, all right. How about a smiley face? I've got a lot of smiley faces. What else? What else? Oh. This little heart. Because why not? I don't like that right there. Okay. I am really... I'm making a little dent in these. I am going to... I got a long ways to go. <laughs> But I'm going to use up as much, all of them. I'm going to use up all of those little things. Get them out of my hair. Okay. There. We'll call that done. Now I've got. This is my pre-made tag. I, I, I use up scraps. I love using up scraps. This, I don't care for this part, but this part is okay. So I'm going to cover that up. Um, covered up a lot of good, good little scraps. Alright, well. Around the corners on this one. there. I have so much of these. But nobody can say I'm not using them. I'm using them. Don't say that. I'm not using them. I certainly am. Oh, I like that one. I want a lighter colored one. Oh, I think glittery would be nice. Yes. I, I. Now this one is kind of a slightly flaky glittery one. And... It's hard to glue things on top of that one, but we're gonna make we're gonna make it work. All right. I was looking at some pictures on my computer. I have a, a file of photos of just um tags, file of folder borders and stuff 
and I was looking at some some tag bases I had made a photo I had them spread out on the table and I think I made like a hundred that day <laughs> had them all spread out and I took a picture of them and this was back before I moved to this scrapbooking room I think it was oh I want to say 2016 I think the date was on there and I don't have any of those anymore I used them all um, so uh, you can't say I'm not using my stuff. That, that little cloud there looks good. Okay. Um. I'm going to glue this across here for no reason. Stay there. Get down. <laughs> Get down. And I got paper stuck to the back of it. I better kind of scrape some of that off. Oh, I th you you will stick. You will. Okay. This lends itself well to butterflies and stuff. I think I need to add a little color. I've got some dark, these darker green ones, but I think I want it to stand out more. So I will use this more colorful one right here. If I can get it off without tearing my little antenna. this little paint can. It wasn't really a paint can. It, was, it says FTD on the bottom and I covered it in contact paper and I put my sticker backs in there because sticker backs are not paper and, and they don't go in the recycling bin. I have I have my little trash can recycle paper only and I, I am big on recycling. So I'm going to go ahead and put a punch a hole in here right now. Oh, that's a thick piece of cardboard. And we're going to add some more stuff. I think a big, a silky flower. Yes. Is that too big? Eh, no. Oh, it's not too big. So I need a large glue dot. I'm hoping if I can, yeah, I'm going to put that down low because I like this pattern right there. You can't really see, but it's like lattice, and lattice is good for outdoors. All right, now I need, this sticky dot. These come from Dollar Tree. You get a whole sheet of them for a dollar. And I cut them apart by color. <laughs> Alright, I need... Where's my flowers? Or, eh, no. I'm going to do this one. I don't care what it looks like, I'm going to do it. Is that enough? Um, oh, it's, we need a star for sure. Here's a glittery. Oh, I just tore it. It was glued on. It was glued on there a little too tightly. It was a big one too. Ah, uh, all right. Let's throw that. Maybe I can patch it together. Cause I don't like to waste anything. Let's see now. Yeah, we'll make it work. There. Good enough. Yeah, that worked. I'll try to get a second star off of here without tearing it. I used a little bit too much glue stick. No, I didn't use glue. They're, they're, they're stickers with no backing on them. Okay. Is that enough? I need a word. That's what's missing. I need a word. Something green. Beautiful. Can't be too big. Cheerful, smart. 
Oh, I like this one. Happiness. And I think this is supposed to look like some kind of a plant steak. But we're not going for that. We're going to cut it. Ooh, where am I going to put it? Right. Right there. Sure. Happiness. Maybe... No, I think it's sticking good. I was going to say maybe I'll put a drop of glue under here, but I think it's 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 good. It's good. There, that one is done. I got everything on my table done. Um, is that enough for today? Um, I'm gonna when, I'll just turn this off, and then I'm gonna finish my gluing, which might take me a day or two, <laughs> and then I'll show you everything in green before I I finish this video. Well, I'm back. Um, I've been gluing. <laughs> Uh, there's about 40, I think, I don't know, tags, borders, and embellishments that I've made so far. And I have four more borders to work on, and I decided I'm going to do those on camera. And then when I'm done, um, I'm going to show you all of these. Um, I just, I'm obsessed with this. I've done the, gr the blue, and now I've got green, and I still have the rest of the rainbow to go through, but... I love this and and I'm using up so many bits and pieces and that's what it's for not just to sit around so th this is why I love doing this so let me put these down and then we'll get to gluing and pretty soon you'll get to see all of my finished I got four four to do counting this one okay so we'll glue this on there these Project Life cards, I have so many of them. They come on, on cut apart uh, 12 by 12 sheets and, and some of them have pretty cute stuff on them and then there's the just basic ones to write on and stuff and, and they're fine but <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I think I just would not use them if I didn't make a tag or border with them. Okay. So I barely put a dent in all my little squares. <laughs> but that's okay because I'll be making more in the future. So I've still got, still got all these little... I, I have made a little bit of a dent in them. But that's... I, I use them. Nobody can say I don't use them. Okay. So I've got this nice cute little fairy. I printed off of Pinterest. Um, next, my next color will be purple. Probably won't make a lot of that because you know when you buy, buy I, when I buy stickers and things, and then I sort everything by color, orange and purple, not much ends up in those piles when I sort them by color. Um, that's just the way it is. So probably not a lot of purple. But anyway, before I work on move on to my next color, I go to Pinterest and I look for cute things to print. That's where I got this, you know, in that color. Um, so, oh, my hands keep getting sticky. This is a, a little tag I made previously using up stuff. And I'm not going to use it on a scrapbook page. It's too little. It just doesn't um, work with my pages for the most part. So I've, I'm decorating this border with it. So where do I want it? I think, oh, here. And I've been working on using up all my little bits and pieces, and I'm getting close to the end. I keep I keep putting this one off. I think I'm going to put that in my Christmas stuff. Put that on a Christmas border sometime. Um, so time for some glue dots. Oh, and I've got three of these left, and I just tossed them onto my the, my borders that I'm going to be working on next, and I I'm going to get them used up. I'm just going to stick it on there someplace. <laughs> How about... Ugh, I don't know. Right there. Whatever. Now, in my green flowers like this, I had these leaves. And I have I have some more. And I, I really should add some leaves to my flowers. Maybe I should get them out and keep them handy for my future borders that I'm going to be making in the next few weeks. 
Anyway, so I'm looking for my medium glue dots. And so I'm going to add four leaves. You know, I figured with the fairy, the leaves, use up some of those leaves on this page, on this border. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got four. So we're just going to kind of make two clusters of two and, and surround the flower that I'm going to put on there. These glue dots, they just <laughs> stick to my fingers. Okay, now, now this one is torn, and you know what? I don't even care. Because so I'm going to put a button or something on it, and you won't even see it. Look at that. I can let go of it. There we go. Now, put that right there. This is just a little teeny tiny mini tag that came with something or other. And I stuck it on there. Just use it. Okay, I need, I need a button, maybe? Sure. Don't want to spill them. Yeah, this one will do. No fuss. Maybe I can get this to stick on there. It's a bit large, so I gotta tuck in the excess and keep it off my finger. There we go. Okay, and then I've got these two butterflies trying to use stuff up. Put one there. And one here. I need something here. This will do. M mismatched flowers, it's fine. It's okay. I think I'll use a large glue dot. That's small. I have small, medium, and large. And I know pretty soon I'm going to need to go buy some more. Get under the See, sometimes it gives me problems. <sighs> okay, that one is done. And it, it, look at it, it's curling up a little bit, but when I use it on the glue book page, it's going to be glued down and in the page protector and flattened between pages, and it, it's going to be just great. Um, I could put words on here, but I'm not going to. Sometimes, sometimes you find, oh, that'll do a good border, and then, I don't know, it's just not. The words don't quite go with my subject. Okay. So I've got this. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What else? I think this goes on there. I got some stuff mixed up. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I'll move that over there. I got my stuff here. Okay. So. Find my three little squares. Just my little trademark. Oh. Well. That's not sticking very well. Not a problem. Thanks to glue dots. This, this is why I peel these off <laughs> and put them on there with my finger. Cherish every moment. Love. 
cherish every memory, love every moment, embrace every possibility. Just a little embellishment I had around. Okay. So we'll get our little things glued on. the other one. Okay. Hmm. I believe this is graphic 45. Pretty sure it is. I don't want to glue down the top before I press it down too tight right yet because I want to tuck a few things under. Now I can press that down. This is, is glittery. It doesn't flake. Um, every time I use these they curl. Well, I covered up my little things hanging off the side, but no big deal. Okay. I'm just going to stick this here. It kind of blends in pretty good there. I need, I need some kind of a something there. I need something. Is this butterfly too big? I think it's a little bit too big. Okay. There. And where's my flowers? I didn't have a lot of green flowers because there's not green flowers are not very nature like, really. Let me see. Ooh, I'm gonna put on a heart. Just because. Alright. I didn't use a lot of hearts. I don't know why. Okay. There's a butterfly. I think it needs some little things on there now. Stones. Cause why not? I have a lot of them. They're pretty cheap. Not perfectly straight, but who really cares? Alright, what do we got in here? I got a foam heart. Oh, that's not sticky a bit. Okay, I'll get me a medium, dot, maybe two small dots. That's pretty small. This one is still good and sticky. I'll put that right there. I think we'll call that one done. Oh, I have this. Can I still get that on there? I don't think so. I don't think it goes really good. There's some pink roses right there, but no. I'll keep that handy. Might use that on one of the other ones.
All right. I got this one and another one. And then we can tidy up and see all my creations in green. Let's see, do I want it like this? Yes, I think I do. And a glue stick. Oh, I already had some squares ready. Nobody can say I'm not using my little squares. Because <laughs> I really do. the corners I know I made this tag base a very long time ago and I don't know when I put the tag together and I don't know when I'll use this border either but it's a work of art People tell me I should sell these on Etsy, but um, they're eight. They're made for eight and a half by eleven pages, and not very many people make that size. They like the twelve by twelve, and um, I don't pay much attention to um, acid free. And I might have some unhappy people if down the road this acid not acid free stuff does some damage because I get stuff out of magazines anywhere I can find it can I possibly get this on here I'm going to make it work somehow. There. I like the pattern on this. It's very vintage, like Victorian wallpaper. And I didn't want to cover it all up. Alright, we need a couple of little things on here. Um, no. Got some more green hearts. We'll put those on. I think medium glue dots. Try not to think too much about stuff because that'll just slow me down. Mix and match and, and some of this and some of that. That's the way I like it. I'll put this here. Okay, that one is done. One more to go. my corners all 
All right. So I just reached in and grabbed three squares. Don't even think about it. Well, usually I do, but. And I think I want. No. This I found on Pinterest, and I found it printed, this is in green, and I found it printed in, in a few other colors, the exact same picture of printed in, not printed, but I, this is the only one I printed, available in other colors, you might call it. Just a little bit of uh, print. My dog is barking. My brother was out with his friend and he just got home. When I, so now he's barking. She's barking. Alright, and this tag that I had made previously says dream. And I need another glue stick. I'm going through a lot of glue sticks, but not a problem. My fingers are sticky. I think I want a heart. Yeah, that's my brother's friend, if you can hear him. Got this glittery circle that's going to curl on me, but that's all right. And I'm, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this up. So help me. <laughs> I'll put it right there. And then, maybe a silk flower. Maybe I should add a leaf, just because I've got leaf. I think I'll get those out. I'll pull all those leaves. Okay, I think my battery might run out of power, so I'm going to make this quick. I, and if it shuts off, the battery went, died. Um, I've got all the green stuff done. I used up all the little teeny tiny things that I had on here. Um, I had 11 pages of green embellishments, including the butterflies and flowers. I, this is all I have left of the butterflies and flowers, condensed down to one page to mix together. Um, I reorganized, got them all tidied up. I eliminated four pages of things that I've used up. Um, that's my goal, to use up stuff. Then I can buy more stuff. <laughs> um, I made these two um, horizontal borders. Um, I just added this camera stuff and today in the butterfly I did these borders got this pretty lady I've had the, these she's got blue flowers right here and I added this and I've had this for a very long time use that up um, this is a car one for good times I got this doll wonderful this is a tag I had made previously um, I just added that on there I don't really like to use the smaller tags on my pages I just they just don't work for me um, this is an embellishment I had made and there's a little little um, something with it. wings a little angel I guess um, here's a pretty birdhouse and life is a beautiful thing um, here's a cute little doll um, on a tag. Here's a Victorian lady in a Victorian house and a, and a place to write. I used a, a few of my um, 
tickets, coupons. Uh, I got a bunny. Oh, happy day. I got this lady. Uh, cherish every mo memory, love every moment, embrace every possibility. Um, I got this pretty Victorian lady with this this tag and memories. Uh, here's a pretty lady that says dream. Just used up a lot of little this of this and that. Um, here's a fairy and a card you can write on and a bird, a butter, couple of butterflies. So that's all my vertical borders. Um, this is a this was printed with the heart and the ticket and this that was printed on there I jazzed it up with some rhinestones and a flower and a butterfly uh, this is a little embellishment that I made a little embellishment embellishment this was like a recipe card and I docked it up that's Ruth Ruth um Moorhead and this is a mini tag and another mini tag. This is a Boyd's Bear figurine. It's not a bear. Boyd's makes um, yesterday's child figurines. And I, I collect those. Okay. Now the borders. I got our tags. These are my 3 by 5 tags that I love to use. Um, here's a fairy. This is happiness. Uh, create. Here's a do dog. Another two dogs in a pickup truck. Um, a rusty old faucet with a bird on it. Another Ruth Moorhead. Whimsy. This is not a tag shape. It's just something I had that I decorated. Um, this is a big old butterfly on a tag. This one. I had this. This is a Project Life card. We go together like salt and pepper and I just I didn't have anything green in the right shade so hey pick up the orange so I got into my orange and I got a few things I added some some kids glitter glue here kind of bubbled up gave it a kind of a special effect um, this is p printed from Pinterest it's a doorknob and then this is an embellishment I got probably from um, Dollar Tree a card full of them um, home just using up stuff. Um, this says, my mom says I'm handsome. It's a vintage boy. And I used up all of these frames that I had. I, I had four or five of them. Um, today is the day. And just added some decorations. Used up some stuff. Same with this one. This is what happy looks like. Um, butterfly, foam flower. I used up quite a bit of my foam stuff and then I added this big foam flower on here with a, this is out of a gardening oh this is out of I bet this is out of birds and blooms magazine and a flower and a ticket and then a Boyd's bear um, cherished memories a watering can with a flower a flower button a butterfly and a flower and I added some um, ephemera a bird with, with a stamp and a flower and a butterfly flowers this is probably out of birds and blooms too just a, a pot of flowers and I added a, an embellish butterfly embellishment um, my favorite this is Boyd's bears figurine oh this is this came off I'm gonna put a glue dot on there set that to the side for a minute um, place, date, um, two birds on a, a rustic old box with butterfly and foam flower and some stars. I used to have quite a bit of those stars. Um, this is music, amazing grace, enjoy, a bird, roses, butterfly, um, a vintage tr rusty truck and I added a ticket it says hanging out some stars a, a green sequin and the last one a pinch of patience a dash of kindness a spoonful of laughter and a heap of love so that's kind of food description and I had this um, scrap with silverware on it and I added that 
And so that's what I made with the green, and next will be purple. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.